Coming up on the Sports Corner, we look at two seniors on the women's basketball team and their time at Goshen. William Troyer talks with Stephanie Miller about the final game left in the Crossroads regular season. And Suzette Rodriguez reflects on qualifying for the national tournament and breaking a school record. All that and more is coming up here on the Globe Sports Corner. As the Goshen College women's basketball season wraps up, Haley Archibek and Sydney Stein look back on their four-year careers here as a Maple Leaf. William Troyer has more on the story. The Goshen College women's basketball season is quickly coming to a close with only three games remaining in the 2019 season. We asked seniors Haley Archibek and Sydney Stein to reflect on their favorite memories as Maple Leafs. Um, my favorite memory at Goshen College would be with the women's basketball team when we went to Final Four my freshman year. Um, just being in that atmosphere and playing with some of the girls that became like family to me was one of my favorite things. Um, probably freshman year going to the national tournament. Both Archibek and Stein want to leave a mark on this program when they leave. Um, I would like to be remembered by my physical play when I'm on the court. Um, just always knocking people over and doing what I have to do. How much energy I brought to practice. Each senior plans to continue their education after the time at Goshen College. After college, I plan to live in Florida and find a grad school and hopefully become a physical therapist. Um, probably go home and go to grad school for physical therapy. The Maple Leafs take the court this Wednesday as they host the Trojans of Taylor University. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is William Troyer. The women are in action tomorrow afternoon as they take on Spring Arbor University. When we come back, William Troyer will be sitting down with Coach Miller to talk more about the rest of the season and all that and more coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real-world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I'm with head coach of the Goshen College women's basketball team, Stephanie Miller. Coach, thanks for coming to the studio today. Thanks for having me today. So looking back on the season, what do you think your team has improved on the most? Well, you know, I think over the course of a long season, one of the things we really needed to improve on the most is just toughness, uh, mental, physical toughness, uh, being a young team coming in and experienced. I think uh, we were winning some games early, but I think we were a little soft, and uh, we got exposed a little in the conference season at the beginning for lack of toughness. And I think over the course of December and January, we've really come – a long way as far as handling ourselves in tough situations, uh, staying locked in when things got difficult, um, and really grinding out quarters so that we could be competitive in games that we hadn't been being competitive in. Yeah, so what are some of your main focuses heading into the last game of the regular season? Well, hopefully we apply that and uh, get the win on the road, which is uh, it's, good. it's a toughness thing. So when you travel in the league, um, you definitely got to bring that with you in order to in order to come away with a win. So uh, we have really come a long way on the glass, so we're going to expect to have to win the glass in that battle. Uh, Spring Arbor definitely is a team that's vulnerable in that category. We're in the top three in all rebounding categories this year, uh, which, again, is a testament to the improvement in toughness. Uh, so we're going to look to really hit them hard on the glass. We're going to attack them on the inside, make them double our bigs, and uh, work to kind of beat the doubles with some shots from the outside. And our biggest goal coming into this is just a payback kind of day. We really feel like we left this one on the table the first time, uh, had an opportunity to win it you know, at the end of regulation, and uh, just fell short. So I think the kids are motivated and really excited to try to get one back here. And finally, what are you wanting to see from your players in this offseason? What I really want to see is just kind of using this learning experience this year as a spring springboard into just having the desire and really be hungry to take you know we've been at the doorstep like all year sometimes we've been able to step through we've won a few big games we played well early on and in the conference season we've just been continuously right on the doorstep of really being able to be successful and be competitive so my my goal and my hope with the young ladies is that they'll take that fire and that competitive edge that we've learned this year 
and apply it to their off-season work so that when we head into next year, we're really going to be more savvy and ready actually to take the turn and be more competitive in this league. Coach, thank you again for your time. When we come back, I will talk with Suzette Rodriguez about her record-breaking performance in track. That's coming up next here on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College. Everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique, supportive community, right here in northern Indiana. Cutting-edge academics, real-world learning, and small, personalized classes make the difference all surrounded by world-class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Sports Corner. To my left, I'm with sophomore thrower for the Goshen College women's track and field team, Suzette Rodriguez. Thanks for joining us today, Suzette. Hi, thank you. So what was your mindset going into the indoor conference meet this past Saturday? Um, well, I was just trying to remain focused and remember to stay relaxed throughout all my throws. Yeah, so this past weekend you placed first in the weight throw, along with breaking the school record for the longest throw and qualifying for nationals. How did that feel to place first in that event? It felt pretty surreal, but I feel like it was definitely happening at the right time. So you still have outdoor season left this upcoming spring. What's your mindset going forward into that season? Just to remember to feel like I'm one with the, with the hammer and just stay calm, too. Once again, thank you, Suzette, for coming down. When we return, Zach Begley will look at some highlights in the last week. That's coming up here on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our Environmental Learning Center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Globe Sports Corner. Let's look back on some basketball action that happened last Saturday. The Goshen College women's basketball team celebrated senior day as they took on St. Francis. Grayson Cockerham knocks down the free throw. She finished with 10 points. Freshman Denise Chapman drives to the paint for two of her 10 points this game. Mariah Rowe dishes over to Allison Priggy who drives all the way for the layup. And then Chapman gives it to Mariah Rowe for the layup but the Maple Leafs fall at home 72-36. The men's team was also in action on Saturday, taking on St. Francis. Senior Jamarcus Stuckey finishes the layup with the and one opportunity. Austin Brannigan grabs the offensive rebound and kicks it out to Stuckey for three more. He finishes with 27 points, but the Maple Leafs lose against the Cougars 95-74. That wraps up another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to tune in next week where we'll talk with new softball coach at Goshen College and have more highlights on your Goshen College Maple Leafs. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner.